Let's check the tarot. Come with me. Capricorn, this is a love reading. It's for adults only. It's entertainment only. It's love. Capricorn, are you hungry? The taste. Some new experience with loving. We're going to do five cards for you. Five cards for whoever you have in mind. If you do not have anyone in mind, then it will be an unexpected show up. We will top up those five cards with different decks and see what kind of storyline we can create. Capricorn, I love reading tarot. I love it. So let's get at it and see what is coming in for you. Oh, well yourself. <laughs> the devil. That's you, baby. That's you. Mm, these are all coming in upright. Oh, so kind of dark. This is gorgeous. Fix the light in here. These five cards will be your lover. Who are they? Who is it? We'll reveal that. So, like I mentioned, your first card. These two cards are you, an unexpected event, the card to the future, most probable outcome. So we're looking at the devil, right? Which is Capricorn, hello. It can be lust. It can be somebody on their way to being a TV star, some kind of reality. Um, winner. It can be getting what you deserve. Sometimes <clears throat> I associate the Capricorn with polygamy and throuple and evolving into more of a Wiccan lifestyle than a Christian lifestyle. Now that's just sometimes, maybe that's not you, but here's where we're going to find a story for you. The Nine of Swords is all about fixation. Still not sure, anxious, losing sleep. When you're fixated on something, you're missing all the other opportunities. So perhaps you have a secret crush on somebody, but there's five people who have a secret crush on you. You don't even see them because you only see who you want to see. That's how the Nine of Swords works. Uh, maybe it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's more of the fixation on one. Um, secret and you know you have your eye on one I feel like that person either you have two cats or that person has two cats this unexpected event is the three of cups which of course is a celebration it can also represent a stylist a beautician a fashion -ova, a fashionista somebody in the fashion industry somebody who makes high-end food products right uh, something like that, maybe a personal assistant, something like that. So I just wanted to say too with that Three of Cups, when it comes to love, when it comes to love, the results are going to be much bigger than what you could ever anticipate. There's a lot of pride, awareness, being paid for what you are worth, but also being loved for how for who you are right the intense value of who you are somebody loving that in you this card here it's a chariot but it's reversed a little bit of stalemate a little bit it could be that you're stuck on a cancerian are you i have a feeling yes you're stuck on a cancerian is not looking at you. But remember, there's a five others who are looking at you. The chariot reversed, right? This chariot reversed is submissive, powerless, frozen in time. Wheels are spinning, getting nowhere. Wake up, Capricorn. That's not who you typically are. Now here is somebody you can be, the high priestess. The high priestess is outworldly she has seen some shit 
She's a truth teller. She's mysterious. When this card shows up in, the, in a reading, the universe is about to create a bunch of encounters for you to meet who is in your destiny and who you need to be spending a good portion of your life with. How exciting. Let's look at your lover. Oh, the tower. Are you ending up with a Scorpio? If not, then your person perhaps comes from Europe, the European lineage. The tower card too is them having completely changed their life by no choice of their own. Mm, you guys, justice reversed. They just ended a karmic cycle. They do not realize yet that, that, that this is a good thing. All right, let's see what kind of career they're in. Let's identify who this person is. Well, that fell out fast. This is the star card. It's also in this deck, a breakthrough intelligence, a genius. So they have a really high IQ. Oh, a perfume chemist, a medical researcher, or a sex worker. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's do one more for, let's identify who they are career-wise. Careers aren't forever, baby. They should be changed often. Mm, I feel like they might be a redhead. There. A small business owner or a software developer. <clears throat> I feel like they have inherited China. You'll go in their kitchen and see that they have really old uh, China ware, and you're like, oh my god, this is you. You're my person. Right? So they've just come out of a karmic circle. And lo and behold, in walks you. This is the Page of Cups. Incurable romantic. This love. This lover, they are an incurable romantic. They have gorgeous hair. They love messaging you. They will message you often. And the messages aren't dorky. They're well thought out. They are very apologetic. They could be the tender side of a Scorpio that you're ending up with. The Ten of Swords. The worst is over. This person is just ending a relationship where they got dumped, ghosted out hard. They thought they were with the love of their life, but they haven't met you yet. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. The Three of Swords. They messed up. There was a third party. Promises weren't fulfilled, right? So maybe, maybe you're with somebody and you meet them and you start like, you know, that throuple. Maybe you're with somebody and um, you cheat on your current spouse because this new Scorpio shows up. Now, if they're not a Scorpio, they are probably Aquarius. Okay, this is so fun. Let's keep going. Just a little face-to-face -face interruption. I hope you're smiling, it's feeling good. You know, these predictions are generalized. I hope you like and subscribe and share. I mean, you do what you wanna do, but having said all this, it has to feel right for you. You can't force it. So I hope it's making you feel like, yeah, this is something that I wanna grasp onto and make occur or work from or create as a root base. Let's go back to the card. Whoa, these two flew. Letting go of control. Mars, let's just put them all out before we talk them through. I almost want to take that card out of the deck. You deserve love. Well, yeah. 
hate that. Of course. Of course you do. Everybody knows that. And it's not something that we need to be reminded of because you should know that in a deep primal sense of where your soul is that you deserve love. Now, we can leave it in the deck because it's just showing me the masculine and feminine of the Sagittarian energy. The yin-yang of travel. Flirting. Mercury. Love yourself first is fine by me rather than you deserve love you know everybody knows that they deserve love it shouldn't be something that you have to remind anybody of okay let's see what's going on here <clears throat> letting go of control issues now remember that devil that seducer that capricorn i feel like this is you right here just lounging lounging looking over your map of the world knowing full well that your angels and all their consorts are making all the plans for you. Very much an angel and devil energy here, right? Good versus bad, light versus dark. Do I take the good one or do I take the bad one? It doesn't matter because there isn't good or bad. There's just primal energy, right? And following that. I love the color coordination here. It's like she is bowing down to this huge Mars energy, courage and strength. She's praying for courage and strength to whatever force she prays to. Again, once again, let's talk about the masculine and feminine energy here. They are playing a game. <laughs> Look at, she's going to nail him right in the chest and he's like, have at it, baby. But you know, I love, I can't even stand how much I love this. I think your person's gonna have an eagle tattoo as well. Look at the game they're playing. Like, uh, I could stare at this all day. Look at the game they're playing and she's focused, driven, and she's about to nail him right in the heart with her, <laughs> with her bow and arrow. <laughs> this Sagittarian energy shows up to get these magical chariot carriers reversed. Look at the power of one well exceeds the stalemate of two. And there you are flirting like a high priestess, flirting into a new lifestyle, flirting with the idea of a brand new lifestyle that you've never had before. It's in your future. You might, um, you might meet somebody who's a photographer. The Mercury card, this is your lover. Now look at the color coordination here. In the tower mercury is very much the tower card but there is that sun peeping out you are the sun of this scorpio or aquarius that you're about to fall in love with look at the color coordination here too ah oh, i love when this happens to me this is huge validation that we're we're hearing a great message today right the justice gets reversed upwards that blue and blue here her hands are down and she's sad here her hands are up and she's like yes i just laid my boundaries out and lo and behold this gorgeous person shows up in my life now look at the blue and the blue this is the page of cups reversed and then it comes up upright so this uh scorpio or aquarius that you are going to fall in love with they very quickly get over that last love they very quickly surrender to you and here they are the musk ox energy emerging from the dark night of the soul which is that tower card right being with friends that ten of swords like it's like this musk ox is the spirit guide of this hurt soul that is about to show up in your world turtles on a pond peaceful reunion it won't be easy but it'll be worth it Again, the energy of these cards, look at that yellow and green in the trees and the yellow and green in this distance. And all of these turtles are out sunning themselves. The two of you getting married 
in three years on an island. Whoa. That is something for me to say, isn't it? My prediction. Let's shuffle a little bit more here. Amber dark. It's amber dark in their room and they fuck. Four of Wands is Venus. This is Venus looking at her lover and he is intently looking back at her. What can I do for you, babe? Now, regardless of what you're looking for, male, female, you pick your whatever gender identity you need to use. The purpose of this is the staring, that concentration, I'm here for you. Let's do this. One more card. one keeps wanting to come out the knight of pentacles that again is the serious face of faith the serious face of faith i love it that's it for today i hope you like enjoyed this and i hope i see you again